the men's sprint at Penn Relays. Got the 4x1, 4x2, 4x4, and sprint medley relay. 4x1, it's really going to be different players. We'll start the men. Different players in different races. 4x1, it's all going to be about Auburn versus Houston. Now, yes, North Carolina A&T and Clemson, they are going to be in the mix. They, they have some good runners. A&T and Clemson have run well. But I really think it's going to be an interesting dynamic seeing Auburn go up against Houston. You have Moss and Ganway, Favor, uh, Ashe going at it, probably has the anchor legs. But ultimately, it's Carl Lewis versus Leroy Burrell. Mm. Leroy Burrell, former coach of Houston, left Houston to go call, coach Auburn. They're still friends. They're still, they still communicate with each other regularly. But now they, they were teammates and sprint rivals when they were competing as pros. And then now they were coaching together. And now they're coaching rivals. And I believe, <laughs> is this the first time they will have coached a relay against each other? Yeah. I don't know how to find out that stat. But I think this is the first time their four by ones have faced off against each other, I believe. I don't yeah, know how to find out that their stat. Top, but. Their top talent is really good. Some of the best in the NCAA. You mentioned Maswangani and, and Favor Ashe as well. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting. Exciting to see them compete. <laughs> they were rivals on the track when they were running, so they're used to this posi- being in this position. And then they, then they teamed up to great success in Houston for all those years too. So, yeah, we'll be excited to see that. Hopefully, they both make the final. And it's not just going to be a two-team race. Clemson and A&T are very good. So, uh, they should be making a little bit of a spark there. Uh, moving over to the 4 by 2 um, Told them to bring the 4 by 2 Clemson, Houston, they're kind of the main stories. I guess I'm excited to see what uh, GC Foster does. Every time the uh, Jamaican teams come in, mm-hmm. it's fun to see what they do. So, GC Foster... Um, UTech, I don't think, is in this no. race. I don't see UTech. But uh, GC Foster will be fun to see if they can mix it up with Houston and Clemson. Four by twos. I did hear Carl Lewis say to me when Georgia won the four by two at Texas Relays, he was like, they almost broke the collegiate record. He was like, we would have won that race. Mm. He's really confident in his four by two. So. If he thinks that he could have beaten Georgia, which almost beat the collegiate record, that means he thinks his Houston team can flirt the collegiate record. So, assuming yeah, so they run their, their main four guys, obviously. Penn Relay's record, they're 119.67 from 2007. TCU. A TCU team that had uh, Lindell Freighter, Ricardo Williams, Darvis, Doc Patton, and Kim Collins. That's the <laughs> that, collegiate record. That's some speed on that team. Yeah, that's a legit yeah. team. There's a lot of uh, world championship appearances and some medals on that team. That's a good team. So moving over to the 4x4. Four four, um, who, who are the top teams? Uh, A&M, they're good, man. They got their 4x4U. Four four uh, A&T also has put together a good 4x4. Four four, so um, mainly A&T and A&M have really good uh, 400 hurdlers, which they mm-hmm. will be running the open 400 hurdles. Uh, we might see like a f- low 48-second 400 hurdle at Penn. Just saying. Uh, but yeah, A&M, A&T, and Clemson, those are the teams. 